The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Suppose one of you has a friend to whom he goes at midnight and says, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread, for a friend of mine has arrived at my house from a journey, and I have nothing to offer him. And he says in reply from within, Do not bother me, do not bother me. The door has already been locked, and my children and I are already in bed. I cannot get up to give you anything. I tell you, if he does not get up to give him the loaves because of their friendship, he will get up to give him whatever he needs because of her, of his persistence. And I tell you, ask and you will receive, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives, and the one who seeks, finds, and to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. What father among you would hand his son a snake when he asks for a fish, or hand him a scorpion when he asks for an egg? If you then, who are wicked, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more those who ask him? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus. The verse in the Gospel which says, Ask and you will receive, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened to you, made me remember my experience during the difficult moments of my family. Brothers and sisters, I'm great, I am grateful to our neighbors before because through them, my family survived hunger. In the past, when we have no viand for our meal, we will just make malungay soup, even without ingredients like fish and other spices. Unfortunately, since we have no place to plant within our rented house, I have to look and ask for it in the neighborhood. And since I am ashamed to ask for it every day, I will get malungay leaves that would last for at least three days I for us to survive every day. During those times, we eat malungay leaves for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. If we were lucky, we could have at least fish for our meal. Fortunately, with God's grace and with the kindness of our neighbors, my family was able to survive that crisis in our lives. Brothers and sisters, if people are moved to help us through our persistent asking for assistance, how much more our loving God. The Gospel today emphasizes the importance of persistence in our prayers and never being afraid to ask God for what we need. However, above all the material or temporal things that we need, Jesus is urging us to ask and seek from God the most essential grace that we need daily. He was referring to the Holy Spirit. For if the food and material needs keep us alive every day, the Holy Spirit of God impels us to move on in life amidst the uncertainty and hopelessness. It keeps us to stay hopeful and to see the meaning and purpose of our life. It is because the Holy Spirit allows us to be one with the Father's will and inspires us to follow Christ in doing good works. God's divine spirit is the one who gives us the courage to stand for what is right and just and to concretely offer ourselves for the sake of others and God's kingdom. Without His Spirit, there will be more and more people who will remain marginalized and neglected in our society. Brothers and sisters, if the food sustains our corporeal life, the Holy Spirit empowers us to give life for others. 
we should be reminded that we are not only here in this world to survive, but we are here to participate and collaborate in the upbuilding of God's kingdom. Thus, when we ask for something from God in our prayers, never forget or hesitate to ask Him the best gift that He could give us. Let us ask His Divine Spirit for us to know Him more clearly, love Him more dearly, and to follow Him more nearly. Please rise.